Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Near Replicant version whatever. Last time we left off, we did some things. We went to the Lost Shrine, and some things happened at the Lost Shrine, and it was interesting. And now, we are going to go to the Northern Plains, because we have the first piece of the five pieces that we need to save Yona, basically. And what do you want? Help! Help! Oh, gods, please help me! What's wrong? There's this huge shade near the bridge in the Northern Plains. The damn thing nearly killed my wife and daughter. Sure. I'm on it. It appears and disappears like the wind. You could go days in the Northern Plains without seeing it. And then, all of a sudden... Okay, so it's gonna be random chance is what you're telling me that we actually see it. Yeah, and you're just the guy that needs all that shit. Well, this time we gotta go to the junk heap. Can't carry any more of those, I don't know what it is. Probably a medicinal herb. This is where we need to go. See, you guys always have the gate closed now. I don't... The gate wasn't closed before, was it? Wasn't it always open? I think that might be the case. Not positive, though. Phew. Alright. Let's go. And this is the Northern Plains. And it's by the bridge, you said, right? You said there'll sometimes be a giant shade over there and sometimes there won't. <clears throat> and that's that would be this bridge. It's like sometimes you run into it, sometimes you don't. There it is. I've never seen a shade this large around here. Be careful. This is a formidable foe. Yeah, it's even armored. Die, little bastards. Calm yourself. Haste will only lead you to oh, making an ill time. Oh, God. Okay, well, it does do a lot of damage. I'll give it that. Your heart is the worst armor one can have. No time for that vice. You gotta get to Yona. Okay. I'm trying to murder you guys from afar. If possible. Uh, we made it to go ahead and switch our word here back to um, Lance because I don't I don't think I'm getting close enough to use anything else on you. I need to kill the small ones. Like that's what I'm trying to do here. It's because they're obnoxious and not actually the problem here, but they're getting in the damn way. Go away. Oh god. This is gonna be hard to do just because the tiny ones won't. Go away. Fuck off. Oh god. Yeah, we need to kill these things. I think the frame rate kind of died right there a little bit. There was a lot going on. Can you please go away? Tiny, tiny bastard. He's just hiding behind the big dude. Come here, you little shit. No, you're getting murdered right now. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, we do like no damage to you, I'd like to point out. It's probably the armor, but... I'm guessing it's the armor, right? The bluey, bluey, bluey. Yeah, that still didn't do a lot of damage. Um, okay, we might have to pop one of these bad boys. Nope. Ow. Slap me in the face. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this fight yet, to be fair. Ow. Yeah, maybe we should just avoid this for now. This this seems like a terrible, terrible grind at the moment. <clears throat> See how much damage a fully charged one of these does? Oh, but before we do that... Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty damn good. Just helm splitter you? If only we could get this armor off, it would be a lot easier. Unfortunately, we cannot. We do have another magic drop. We do. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, that double damage magic drop will do work on you. 
only we could knock this stupid armor off. <clears throat> that would be amazing. We cannot. Oh, bully, 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 bully. Wait, wait, what? It missed? You shot it at the fucking grounds near? Okay, we're out of here. That, 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 nah. Nah. I think it missed. I think it hit the damn ground because Nier was like, I'm gonna shoot it at the ground instead of the enemy in front of me. I want to save my sister, but I'm a fucking idiot. God. Okay, bag dude wants something. <clears throat> <sighs> How did it come to this? My life is over, I tell ya. Over! I sense another inane and time-consuming request coming on. Best to just walk away while you still can, lad. Easy, Vice. Hey there, what's going on? Whoa, friend. Whoa is what's going on. So I ended up having to work on me and my honey bun's wedding anniversary, right? And since we couldn't celebrate the occasion together, things got a little... Eh, heated. I want to make it right and get back in her good books, but I'm a little in over my head. Think you could help a guy out? It'll take a hell of a present to make up for a missed wedding anniversary. <laughs> I thought the same thing, so I asked my sweet dumpling if there's anything she wants. And she told me, I want that thing you promised me back when we were newlyweds. That thing? Exactly! The problem is, I can't for the life of me remember what it was! Can you believe I forgot? Oh, I am just the worst! So, you have any idea what my wife might want? Come on, you gotta help me out here! Comes to mind when imagining the ferryman's wife. <clears throat> uh... Her dark... how they argue. All that comes to mind is how they argue all the time. I had the same thought, though it hardly seems a credible lead for a gift of atonement. Her red bag? Well, you guys carry matching red bags, right? Red? Aha! That's it! We got married after learning we had a shared love of all things crimson, so she'll definitely want something red. I remain skeptical this will lead us to something his wife truly desires. We're so close, I can taste it! Let's see, red, red, red... Ugh, yeah, I got nothing here. What do you think I should give her? Expensive jewels. How yes. about a fancy jewel? It's, did it say what comes to mind when you think of something that women would want? <laughs> I thought I was just gonna say, what do you think she would want? Yeah, I guess she might have mentioned wanting something like that a long time ago. Uh, pretty flowers. Flowers? Yeah, everyone loves a good flower. Yeah, I don't feel like I've seen my wife giving two hoots about flowers, like, ever. Something sweet? Well, girls like sweet things, right? All people like sweet things, Near. Please, don't be an idiot. What, like apples? Yeah, she loves apples, but... Problem is, she already eats them all the time. Ugh, this is getting us nowhere. I know, you're kind of wasting my time, Red Bagman. I kind of hate you. Can you believe she actually married this lout? You know what? Fine! I'll just get her apples, a red jewel, and some red flowers, and call it a day. Should be easy enough for me to get the apples and flowers squared away in Seafront, but I'll probably need your help finding a red jewel, so... What do you say? Help out a pal for old times' sake? How could I say no when you look at us with those puppy dog eyes? Sure, we'll track you down a jewel. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Once you found it, just bring it right to my home in Seafront, okay? God, did you have to be so fucking long-winded? The strange thing store might deal in such articles. Let's go check it out. Did he have to be such a long-winded asshole? He could have just been like, uh, yeah, I need these three things for my wife. Uh, I mean, I guess it would have sacrificed a little bit of the character because he's supposed to be a bumbling idiot. But, I, I don't know, man. He was so long-winded about asking, just telling me what he wanted. And Vice, I love how Vice even comments on the fact that, um, 
a lot of the quests in this game aren't particularly interesting. Like the side quests. So he's like, is this another inane task that's going to waste our time? It's like they knew. <laughs> it's like they knew. Whatever. Let's just go ahead and get to the junk heap and see what we can do over here. Like I said, you don't really get anything super interesting or useful for the side quests in this particular game. Normally I would be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna 100% the game, Man, but... There's gotta be tons of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. Oh wow, check this out. It looks brand new. Hey, be careful, all right? This place is dangerous. Uh, I'll be fine. Oh no! Huh? Look out! Huh? Huh? Jacob! Oh god, this can't be happening! Jacob! Jacob! Huh. Okay, well... <clears throat> Probably... Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. They might know something about this. Maybe don't jump around and play... Like it's a playground inside of a... Like, giant place filled with metal stuff that is precarious and can fall, but... Also, it seems like maybe the robot caused it by stomping around? I, I, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see, but the young brother seems to really hate that robot. Oh, hey there. It's been a while. Oh. Yeah, and you're all grown up now. Oh, wait, no, 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 you're the... Wait, are you... Wait, Jake, no, Jacob died, you're Gideon. I was like, okay, well, he has a robotic arm, so that must, they must, he must have lost his arm or something. But he's still alive, but no, 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 Jacob is not here. This is Gideon, this is the younger brother, except he's all grown up now. That was a flashback to probably shortly after... ...when we last saw them, five years ago. So it looks like Jacob died... ...because of the junk heap, and now Gideon's taken over, and he has a robo-arm? A little prosthetic. <clears throat> You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. Alphair's your brother. My brother's been dead for four years. Yeah, four years. Oh, I see. Please, forgive the question. It's okay. I need to ask you something. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Uh, okay. Never mind then. See you later. Yes. I recently got my hands on a weapon. A very powerful weapon. I thought you might get some use out of it. And the two-handed sword, Iron Will. Hmm. This sword has seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper materials. If you'll fix it, I'll get the parts. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. Only the real big enemies on the second basement level have them, so... Watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. You got it. Alright. 
I'm gonna need some mem- Only the real big- You got- By the- What can I help you with? Okay, so now... Strength and weapons. We can also buy stuff. Yeah, we can just buy basic stuff from you. Come back. I wish you could- you would take me back to the menu the so I could check what can I help you strength with? and weapons and buy and sell items, but whatever. Forging! What can we... Is this our current- no, no, we're using Sunrise, which we need silver ore and large gears for. Whereas Transients just needs iron ore. Yeah. We probably won't do that. What else do we got? Rebirth and the Blade of Treachery. There's Iron Will. An enormous sword that grows heavier with every kill as blood and flesh cling to the blade. Right now it's very light, but once we upgrade it, it'll be extra heavy. Weird. And we just need a memory alloy for upgrading. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go in there and take care of my thing that I gotta do. <clears throat> we'll see you in a second, younger brother. That's really sad what happened to the older brother. Seems like it was, you know, just an unfortunate accident. But it seems like the brother's probably taking it out on the robots. What is this? Does this just allow me to get somewhere faster? I guess so, right? Can't use it, though. It's probably a shortcut out of the basement level. Oh, well. Oh, hey, rats. Come here. Not mice. Sorry. Meal's like, wait, why did we stop? <clears throat> he went all the way into the dungeon and then turned back around. All right, it's so we gotta kill more robots. The older lad he was but a child. Sounds like you went into a dangerous area for the sake of the business. So you're going to fetch parts to fix a lighthouse? Yeah. There was this old lady that helped me once, and I'm fixing the lighthouse where she used to live. Exactly who did the helping is a matter of debate, but regardless. All right. So this would take me down a level, and this would take me to B2, so yeah, let's go down there. There's, There were, what, two or three elevators, I think? So there's multiple areas we can go down to floor B2. Music in here is interesting. always liked this music. The elder brother postponed his joy for the sake of his sibling. Do you think he was ever truly happy? Just making his little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like. Yep. <laughs> I detect not a whiff of intelligence from within that clump of iron. Who cares if it's smart when it can smash you into a pancake? No mere machine can hope to prevail against our intelligence and skill. Wow, thanks, Book. I feel so much better already. Oh, we have these. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we gotta watch out for all those explosions. A lot of those happen. More robots, huh? Out of here. Okay, we're good. Ah! <laughs> yep, I got bopped by that. Let's go ahead and medicinal layer up. Okay, I cleared the way there, but there's also this whole thing. Let's go check out this area first, I think. This seems like a dead end area, so I would want to check this one out. Uh, go away. You're like a weird whirly gig one. It was just like running at me, spinning its arms like Fry in that episode of Futurama. <clears throat> Alright. We're good. Alright, I'll take you, Bomb. Cool. Do we actually need this bomb anywhere? Or, ooh, hammer. Okay, that was a rare one. We can use that to revive Aerodactyl. Fantastic. Ah, uh, 
just ran into that. Broken motor. Thank you kindly. Severed cable. Okay, is this just gonna be a battle room? Yes, is the answer. Boom, boom, boom. Ow. Okay, let's actually fire so that you guys can't overwhelm us. I'd like to point out these machines are shooting magic. Which is a uh, incredibly weird concept to me. All that does is spawn a bunch of bombs, huh? What's the point in going through these rooms if they just spawn more bombs for us? Hmm. Odd. Whatever. Let's continue down this way. See what new stuff we can access. This is like a single room. Door is broken and won't open. Okay, so that's not available. We can go down here though. Hello. Oh, hi. Yeah, you're the zappy zaps. I don't like the zappy zaps. Oh, more spawns back here. Okay, hi. Yes, hello. Ooh, that was a rare one. Machine oil. Thank you, thank you. Broken motor, broken antenna. Broken antenna, broken arm. There's another thing back here. Broken motor, severed cable. All right, are you guys done? All right, that's what I thought. Leave me alone. Uh, Kablooey. There we go. I thought it would go through them all, honestly. Like it would just go down a line like it's a piercing attack. But it didn't seem to do so. Okay, here's another actual gauntlet. Luckily these robots aren't super strong. They're not like that shade we see at the Northern Plains. I hope I didn't get lucky and see that just on my first trip there. Because it said like, oh yeah, sometimes you'll go and it won't be there and sometimes it will. I hope I didn't just get lucky and it's incredibly rare for that thing to actually show up and I squandered my opportunity to kill it. That would be unfortunate. I'm certainly farming enough materials off of you guys. Still need like large gears and stuff though, and I'm not sure where to get that. Is that it? Are we done? We're done. Wearing these rooms out is basically just about farming materials, it seems. And uh, so I mentioned at the beginning of the game that I was gonna have to do multiple playthroughs of this game. Um, for the multiple playthroughs, I'll probably just cut most of it. I think there's small changes in some of the playthroughs. So I'll try and show the small changes that happen. But uh, most of it's just going to be me running through all these same areas all over again. What's... Okay, we need to be able to break that wall. We don't have bombs, do we? Okay, why am I moving this? Alright. Why am I moving that? What is the point? Of these boxes? Yeah, I don't know what the point of these boxes... I don't, I don't know what the point of that is. They're just kind of here? And I'm not totally sure why? Oh, I thought I was going to have to break through that room with a bomb, but this is taking me to that room. Okay. There must be some reason to push these damn things around, right? Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what that reason is, to be fair. They're just kind of here as, like, obstacles almost. Okay, whatever. Weird maze. Yeah, let's shoot. We're getting a lot of materials. I can see why they want to come in here so much now. This place definitely has like buku amounts of materials. I had like 99 of these dented metal boards the last time I came in here. Jeez. 
Damascus Steel. That feels very important. It was a rare, so I'll probably need it for a weapon at some point. Go oh, away. There's another rare. Amber. Getting a lot of that. Mysterious switch. Alright, so we made it in here. Now... Oh, that's the exit. We're gonna come out that way. That's why you need bombs to get through. Okay. Yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. This room's probably gonna spawn bombs for me once I finish it. Die, friend. As far as I remember, this area is kind of the grinding area in this game because you need to kill these robots so much to get the resources to max everything out. That's why I am not maxing out the uh, weapon stories, probably, just because it requires so many of these resources that you basically just have to come here and grind a lot. And also get the money to even upgrade the weapons in the first place. But maybe we'll have enough after the end of all of our playthroughs to just be able to afford everything. I, I don't know. I don't remember that much. Strip bolt, strip bolt. Oh hey, the flying ones. They're easy to kill and they drop pretty good stuff. Working battery, severed cable. More flying ones. Broken motors. <laughs> we're just loading up here. It's like we just it's like we just took a trip to the store and we're just putting everything in our cart. Oh, now we got a big boy though. Hi, big boy. You don't have a lot of HP, big boy. You know that, right? In fact, you're like to take a shit ton of damage from that. Alright. Okay. Now you're electrified. That makes you a bit scarier. Bang, bang. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Got a titanium alloy out of you. And a memory alloy. Oh god, he's gonna explode. Okay, we're good. Are you gonna drop a bomb for me, friend? Anybody got bombs? I need to be able to get out of there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you drop a bomb for me. Thank ya. Ooh, thanks for the uh, heal, Emil. All right, and I think we need one more, right? Bum 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 bum. Ow. Okay, it exploded a bit faster than I thought it would. All right. Oh, there's there's another room. I forgot about that. <laughs> there's one more room we gotta go through before I uh, actually get to that door. So, yep. Need a bomb. Need a bomb flower. Thank you. Here we go. And we're out. So that's what we needed to get. I do believe. Let's just continue heading down here. Uh, I also need to heal up a little bit. All right, and just keep going, just keep going. We're doing it, doing it. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, the minecart section. Completely forgot about the minecart section. This weird shmup section where we're on a minecart that moves incredibly slow. Where's Kaine? Emil can float, but Aren't I supposed to be squeezing in the cart with me? Uh, here we go. Just keep charging up the homing shot and just keep using that. Seems like the best way to go about this. I thought we got resources, like, uh, for these guys too. Materials? Evidently not. I'm gonna let my MP recharge. How you doing, Emil? We just left Kaine behind, huh? Just left her behind. Like, we don't need Kaine. She can't fit into the minecart with me, so who cares? Or Kaine didn't want to be that close in the minecart with Nier, because that's awkward or lewd or something. I don't know. Uh, go away, please. Ow. Out of my face. 
idiots just running at me like this. Oh god. Go away. Oh god, we're getting overwhelmed. This is actually a pretty difficult one. There's a lot going on here. I leveled up though. Worth it. No. Nope. Unfortunately, that level up filled up my MP, so I was about to say like, oh, I have to, you know, let my MP refill. It seems like doing that, uh, the charged version of the attack costs a lot of MP, so I guess maybe I shouldn't just spam that as much as I have been. It's so good though. All right, continue faster. I also gotta remember to actually slam my face into the front of this minecart because it lets us go faster. Away with you. I wish I could have gotten all the materials off of those guys. That would have been fantastic. Oh, Kaine, you were already here. How did you do that? You mysterious, mysterious lady. Just teleporting. I don't know how she manages to pull it off. Alright, so through here. Yes, hello. Giant battle area? Yeah, I was about to say. Okay, we're gonna fight another one of you guys, eh? It's fine. The last one wasn't so bad. Ow. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. You're dead. Give me that, uh, memory alloy. Now we gotta kill your children, too. Come on out. Right to the slaughter. Okay, there's a lot of you. Alright, there's a lot of you. I get it now. Strip the bolts. I think Emil just got hurt. I heard him do a little whimper. You good, Emil? I think he's good. Yeah, he's fine. You, you know, just wipe the... Wipe the dirt off your clothes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're still in the Junk Heap B2. The Junk Heap Depths is where we're headed, though. Let's explore the rest of this stuff down here, why don't we? Oh, hello. Can you not? Thank you. Thank you. Still don't know if that explosion actually hurts me or not, but I'm kind of weary of it. Hello, what's down here? I just find it so much easier to take these guys out with my, like, projectile gun. My machine gun vice that I just never even bother attacking, but uh, I should really be attacking too. I guess I got kind of trained out of attacking because of the little uh, electricity ones. You kind of have to stay far away from those. Ah, but this door doesn't open. Okay, so that was a waste, except for all the resources that I got. Alright, well, we still got a lot of other stuff down here to check out. I imagine the depths is probably where we're going for story reasons. So, yeah, can't go through either of those doors. Can go through here, though. More dented metal boards. That was a big open room. Okay, now we're going top down. I was wondering when we were going to run into another one of these. We finally did. Stab, stab. Stab. Okay. This is... That was just for bombs. Am I even going to be able to get one of these out of here this fast? No. The answer was no. Are there some in here? Okay, cool. More up here and here. Gotcha. That makes this slightly easier. Or possible. But I don't think I could get that bomb all the way to that other door. I forgot how long this room was. Go away. Don't you dare even press yourself to swing your arms at me. Alright, give me this. I think we're good now. Huh. Yeet. All right, now we go in here. What do we got? Amber, dented metal board. Okay. Good stuff in these boxes. 
He keeps rebuilding these boxes when we come back. Although I guess this is a new area. It's best not to ask questions of the higher powers. Die. No, you don't. Uh-uh. Stab. You die too. There we go. Taken care of. Oh, hi. I, I got on top of the thing. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Boom. Got him. Alright, that's it. Working antennas. God, we're getting a ton of those things. I mean, the lighthouse lady didn't need shit from here, so... It's good that we're getting a lot of this stuff. God, there's so many enemies to fight in this area. Just a glut of combat as soon as you hit the junk heap. Mm-hmm. Dead. Deadzo. No? Okay. Here we go. Dead. Alright, now get me out of here. Actually, I don't even need this. I've already broken the wall. We can just, uh, progress now. This way. Thanks, Emil. Boom, boom, boom. One nice feature, uh, would have been in this game, like, if you're max on medicinal herbs, uh, it just heals you instead when you walk over one that you can't pick up. That would be such a nice quality of life feature. Probably be kind of hard to implement, though. I mean, this is... I guess it is a remake, but... I don't know. Maybe, maybe they just didn't have that as a priority. It'd be a nice quality of life feature, though. Love that. Just, oh, you can't pick this up. Guess I'll just eat it now. Alright, is this going to be another one of the big memory alloy boys? Oh, yeah, it is. Uh-huh. Alright, let's poke you a whole bunch. Let's actually lock on to you some camera functions. There we go. Oh, you were just a titanium. You were just a weakling. Oh, but we fight two of you. Okay. Um... Bluey, 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 bluey. Ah, uh, I tried to get it off before he got me. And he got me too quick. Let's go pick up all this stuff before it disappears, because I think it can. I think it is possible for it to disappear. Jesus. Your electricity field's still going. You're dead, dude. Just die already. Okay, there was another titanium alloy and a bunch of other garbage. I'm happy with that. I'm running out of healing herbs, though. I can... You guys got any medicinal herbs down here? That would be handy if you did. Alright, now we can actually run to the depths. This place is... At least they made this place pretty linear. I've played a few JRPGs in my time that... Their idea of a dungeon is just like making it a super maze. Looking at you, Brave the Default 2. And luckily this area is not a super maze. Like, I'm all for interesting dungeon design, but a, a, just a giant maze for like every dungeon is not dungeon design. I like interesting dungeon designs. And if you're not willing to do interesting dungeon designs, I'm just more than happy with you just not trying to, you know, make it something it's a, it isn't by just adding a bunch of random difficulty into it. Just have a nice, simple dungeon. No need to make it too crazy. I think I have enough s severed cables to make my own radio shack now. But those are dead, so I don't think I want to make a radio shack. <laughs> radio shack is, uh, pretty dead. So, let let's- let's not make a radio shack. I don't- I don't think that would be a very good investment. <clears throat> Basically, once they started selling phones, nobody wanted to walk into those shits. Alright. We're in the depths. Okay. Yeah, we fought something here last time, right? Something big and crazy? Or is this a different area? Might be a different area. 
Is this the same? Okay, no, this is a dead end over here. Is there anything here? No. All right, let's just leave. We gotta keep an eye on if I have all the weapons and everything too. That's something I've gotta keep track of because I don't wanna finish the game and be like, oh, you're missing one weapon. I would be very sad. Of course, we do have a whole other playthrough to get all of the weapons, I think. We don't need the extra weapons until the... I mean, we don't need to collect all the weapons until the third playthrough of the game, so... Not the biggest of deals, I guess. First floor. Okay, so now we're just getting out of here. I expected there to be a boss fight there, but there was not, surprisingly. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, okay, the boss fight's gonna be in here, huh? I see you, near. I see what you're doing. <clears throat> Wait, we need a bomb. Oh, a weapon. Spear Beast Curse. Sounds like a Bloodborne weapon. <laughs> Beast Curse. Um, still not better than Sunrise. Let's read the story, though. Long, long ago in a faraway kingdom there lived three brothers. The youngest was a terrifically lazy lad who spent most of his days fast asleep. However, he was every bit as cheerful as he was lethargic, and so was beloved by all. Interesting. Uh, so how do, or do we just drop down this hole? Okay, we just dropped down the hole. Gotcha. Oh, and this is that place we were in earlier? Wasn't it? When we were going around? Yeah! We're just on top of this thing now. Cool. Okay, and do we just... do we just leave? I guess we just leave. Huh. Who'da thunk? I... That seems like, uh, something that would, you know, I don't know, be like a giant boss fight arena or something, but... No? Huh? Okay. Devila and Popolo went back home. That made me lonely, so I ran around singing songs as loud as I could. But then it, I think it said, so, but then it sounded kind of weird, so I stopped. Whatever. You do you, Kaine. Don't let anybody tell you what you can and can't do. There is a medicinal herb. God, we need some more of those. Okay. I'm back, and I have the stuff you need, I do believe. Here you go, younger brother. That's some pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Can you upgrade my other weapon instead of that one? Well, actually, this is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. Wow, do you actually have to wait? No sense in you waiting. That would by the What can I help you with? Uh, can you strengthen my other weapons? No, for sunrise we still need large gears. Where the hell do I get large gears? I would like to get some large gears. We do have enough to upgrade like most other things now though. I don't think I would want to upgrade the Nameless Blade, though. Come back soon. I mean, I, I would if I wanted to get all of the weapon stories, but... It appears we have some free time on our hands. Uh, head for the Forest of Myth, I guess. <clears throat> Popola said we might be able to find something in the Forest of Myth. You will forgive me if I seem less than enthusiastic about such a trick. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna have to redo all the stuff again, the weird mechanics. I don't, I don't know if we do or not. I honestly don't even remember. So we shall see, I guess. I have to imagine we probably are, right? I don't think we're just gonna walk in there and be like, Oh yeah, we're looking for a giant shade, and they're like, yeah, it's right over there, two houses down. I don't think that's gonna happen. But we'll see. The important part is, we're making damn good progress. Uh, let me- let me grab this. Clay? Useless. Damn it. Garbage. Armor's too strong. They seem to have developed some manner of bodily protection. 
Armored enemies. It seems these real. creatures too follow the prescripts of evolution. Not just have to overpower them. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, well let's look at that tutorial. It might give me some interesting details about um fighting them. Attack. Uh, fighting wolves. No. Uh, other. Fighting armored enemies is what I'm looking for. Armored enemies. There we go. Magical attacks can knock armor off enemies, making them... Okay, so. You just want to use magic. That one big shade we fight over here seems like it's... kind of immune to that, though. It doesn't seem like its armor ever comes off. Which is, uh, unfortunate. To say the least. Come on, boar. Is this thing going to appear again? Okay, so it is random chance. Jeez, getting that getting that asshole to spawn is probably going to be a massive pain. Spawn consistently, I mean. Yeah, we haven't actually drifted with the boar that much. I feel like I uh, have not been drifting enough with boar friends. Later, nerds. Oh god. Okay, that's a that's a considered a wall, even though it most definitely is not a wall. Ow! Ow! You know what? I'm out of here. Later, nerds. Don't feel like fighting you. I'm a hit max level across all these playthroughs anyway. I can dodge random combat if I want. The home of that blasted dream. Yeah. Truly a nightmare I hope never to experience again. I hear you. Are we going to experience it again? Let's see. The key to the Shadow Lord's castle? You're talking crazy talk. Anyway, enough of your madness. Let's talk about my story. Listen, decline. Okay, I don't even know what that's about. We just have to listen to their stories this time? Like, do they have stories to tell us that we've got to listen to? Let's let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, hello. How are things? Hmm? You want to know if anything unusual is happening? Well, I have been feeling a rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree? It's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Not really, no. And why not? Well, we're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prey. <sighs> and why is that? I don't know. It's just how things have always been. Weird. Okay, so we should be going to the tree is what I'm gathering from this. And uh, now that I think about it, that person saying like, oh, would you like to hear my story? It's probably a retelling of that side quest that we did, if I had to guess, so. With that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Near Replicant off here. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.